Hello friends, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. In this video, we'll discuss about the topic of Code Editor 4 and that will be what is Cedar and how to use it inside application. If I back to editor. So inside Code Editor 4, Cedars are the concept of classes. By the help of that, we can seed test data inside our database. For example, let's say that we have a project and inside that project, we have several different different types of modules. So to test application in real time, we want some fake data. So by the help of and the concept of Cedar, we can generate fake data for our application. So inside this video, we will see the basic concept of Cedar's class and how to use it inside application. So to understand the concept of Cedar, I am taking an example of a setup and inside this setup, here we have a migration. If I go inside app folder, database, migrations and this is a migration class. And this is the same migration class what we had created inside our migrations chapter. By the help of this up method, we are creating a table called students. So this time, we will use the same table to see that how to generate some fake data for a students table. If I back to database, go to students table, go to structure. Now as you can see that inside this students table, we have the columns as ID, name, designation, email, phone number and created ad. But to create a student for this table, we need only data for like name, designation, email and phone. And why we need only 4 values? Because ID is auto incremented column and created hat has its default value as current timestamp. So whenever we insert any new entry inside this table, automatically ID value will be generated and created at the date time value automatically will generate it. Let's back to editor. So to create a Cedar class file, we'll use the command of Spark CLI. Once we create a Cedar class by using that command, then Cedar class will be created inside database, inside database and seeds folder. So let's quickly create a Cedar class file and see the basic concept that how to use it to generate some fake data. Back to terminal. So if I type php spark, press enter, it will provide the command list of spark CLI. Now go inside generator section. So inside this generator section, we can see a command called make Cedar. Look at its single line description. It generates a new Cedar file. So as we know that we are going to generate some fake data for a student's table. So let's create a Cedar class file which basically indicates with the name with the student's table. Back to terminal. PHP spark make Cedar and after this command we need to pass our Cedar class name. So I will pass let's say student and I will pass a suffix flag. It means that whenever it will create a file, the component title automatically attach as a suffix with the file name. By the help of this command, we are going to generate a Cedar class file and the file with name called studentcedars.php file. Let's press enter. Now as you can see that studentcedars.php file has been created inside seeds folder. Back to editor. Go inside database seeds and here we have our Cedar class file. Inside this Cedar class file, we can see here we have a run method. So to create our fake data, all the logics will be implemented inside this method. So what I will do, let's say that I want to create some fake data for a student's table. So here, let's say data equals to and as we had discussed that to create a student, we want the values for name, designation, email and phone. Back to table. So here let's say name, designation, email and phone. Now let's pass some value here. So 
So here we have a fake data for our first student. So what I will do, I will go and use the DB instance. By the help of database object, we will insert this fake data inside our table. So in the next step, let's say this DB table and inside this table method, we need to pass our table name. So the table name is students and then I will use call insert method. Look at IntelliSense, we can see that we need to pass a set of data. So here I will copy this variable because it's an array type and inside this array type we have all the values. So I will copy this data variable, paste it here. So if I will save all these changes, back to terminal. Now this time we need to execute our Cedar class file so that once it will be executed, it will create a single row entry inside our students table. So again if I type php spark, press enter. Now this time we need to go inside this database section and here we have a command called db colon seed. If we see here the single line description, it runs the specified seeder to populate known data into the database. So while using this command, we need to pass our seeder class name and so that that specific seeder file will be executed and the fake data will be generated. So what I will do, php spark db seed and then we need to pass our seeder class name. So here, in this case, we have the class name as student seeder. So let's copy that back to terminal, pasting it here, press enter. Now as we can see that data seeded. If I go inside this database table, click on browse. Now as we can see that our first fake data now created inside this student table. In the same pattern, if we want to insert more than one row, what I will do here, let's say that here set equals to, I will define an array and inside this array, what I will do, I will copy it here. Let's cut from here and pass it here. So inside this array, here we have our first array. Now next I will create one more array. Let's copy all these key value pairs, paste it here. I will copy this array and paste it here. So basically, we are trying to create array of arrays. Inside each array of this parent array, here we have our student entries. So let's say that quickly to change some data here. And finally, here we have three more students and that needs to be inserted inside a students table. And this is undefined because here we have our new variable called set. So instead of set, let's say data. So this time, here we have a set of data. So in instead of using insert method, now we'll use insert batch method. Let's remove that. So here, we can see one more method available inside Core Igniter 4 to insert data into a batch called insert batch. If I press enter, look at IntelliSense, we need to pass a set of data. So here we have our data variable and inside this data variable, here we have multiple rows. Inside each row means inside each array, here we have a single student entry. Save all these changes. Back to terminal, again we need to type the same command called php spark db seed and then we need to pass our seeder class name so it will be student seeder. If I press enter, data seeded, back to table, click on browse or reload this page. Now we can see that 
we have now three more entries. So successfully, by the help of concept of Cedar, now we have seen that how to use it to generate some fake data for our application. So this is what actually we can do by putting our static data into a Cedar class file. But in some cases, if we want to generate a huge amount of data, let's say 50 rows, 100 rows, 1000 rows, how to generate that? So to complete those tasks, we need to make use of a Faker library. By the help of Faker library, we can generate a huge amount of tables, means huge amount of data for our tables. Right now, this is only a basic video to understand that what is a Cedar and how to use it inside application. So hopefully, in the next video, we will continue this Cedars class and see that how to use a Faker library with Cedar class. So that if we want to generate a huge amount of data for any specific table with any number of columns, how to generate that. So in this video, what we have completed, we understood that what is a Cedar and what is the basic use inside a Code Igniter for application how to create using a Spark CLI and how to use our own custom data inside run method. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.